Hey guys, welcome to Lady J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down and he will do it if you allow it. Yes, he will. I know this to be true. Anyway, good evening to you guys. I pray everyone is feeling good right now and their health is everybody's health is, is great right now. Um, we're gonna rebuke anything that's not of God. Rebuke it, rebuke it. Good evening. Okay, tonight I um I I've been noticing quite a bit um about people in general. You know, um I've just been noticing different situations, circumstances where um a lot of people refuse to soften their hearts, um, forgive and forget. Um, let bygones be bygones, move on, does not mean you have to be a part of the person's life, but just know you're going to feel much lighter because your heart is cleansed of any negative energy, any negative anything that you may have had against that person or at one time was thinking about that person. It's all about cleansing your soul and spirit. Your conscience. Okay. Um, God's number one goal is for us to change that negative way of thinking, how we think about people, um, different things, just different circumstances, life issues, um, dealing with people. And you know, we all have little spit spats, arguments, um, feuds with friends, family. It don't matter. We've all been there. What God is trying to get us to see is that not only is it hurting you mentally, but it's hurting you spiritually by harboring hate, envy, anger, jealousy, whatever, you name it. Okay. It's 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 eating is 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 really killing you slowly on the inside, but you don't know it. You can't see it because you've been blinded by Satan's ways. Okay, only Satan will be that one to want to keep holding a grudge or just don't want to let go and let God. You see what I'm saying? When you let go and you let God, it doesn't mean that once you, when you uh, uh, tell a person, when you be the bigger person and even if you just make a quick call, I just want you to know I'm sorry before they hang up on you. You know, it could be quick, but as long as it's coming from deep in here and it's real, it doesn't matter because you said it, you meant it, and you are relieved from it. You don't have to be a part of a person's life just because you apologize and mean it. Let's just say you're clean, cleaning your conscience. You clean, you're cleansing your heart, your soul, and your spirit, okay, to make more room for God. That's what you're doing. And mm, Jeremiah 18, 12. But they will say it's hopeless for we are going to follow our own plans and each of us will act accordingly to the stubbornness of his evil, evil heart. That's pretty much both parties is saying, I'm not going to give in. But it's hopeless 
is just hopeless. It's not even worth even trying to fix. I don't want to fix it. Okay, you ain't got to fix it. You ain't got to fix it in a in the way that you're thinking you got to fix it to where you guys will just be back, back, hand, hand, but, but, no. No, you're fixing it in a way where you're fixing it for your peace and for God to continue blessing your life. Because let me tell you, honey, <laughs> You will not be blessed the way that you would be blessed if you gave in and then walked away, if you know what I mean. Cleanse your soul and spirit, and then you walk away and let bygones be bygones. If it's meant to be, it'll come back around. No matter who it is. No matter who it is. If it's meant to be, it will be. But get it off of you. Okay? Because at the end of the day, it does not set well with God. And if you think that your life is going to go on glorious when you are disobeying his words, his Ten Commandments, to forgive. It's not going to happen. I'm going to tell you what you're doing. You're building wrath on earth for yourself. And then when you pass on, you still got to answer to him when he asks you, what was so hard for you to just say for whatever I've done? I'm sorry. And I mean it. I'm sorry. And you don't got to worry about me disrupting your life. No more. Even though you know that you're not the problem. You know you're not the problem. But you're cleansing your tab. Okay? You're cleaning your slate to make sure you're covered with all state. Okay? That way, when God asks, it says to you, I'm very proud of you of how you handled many, many situations. How you let go and let me take charge of your destination. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God I listened to you. And I was very pleasing. Hallelujah. Daniel 5.20 But when he who is lifted up and, and, and he who is lifted up and his spirit becomes so proud that he, be, he behaved arrogantly. He was disposed from his royal throne and his glory was taken away from him. You want to know why that is? Because even though he was able to let go and let God, he still had the, 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 the thought that I'm all that. I'm all that because I did that and I I don't need nobody. I don't have to be around nobody. I don't I can move and groove. Okay? Then that's when God uh politely uh knocks you off your high horse. So as I said once and I say again, don't forget 
where you come from. Don't get above and beyond yourself thinking because you're feeling glory, glory right now that you cannot be knocked back down because you're not obeying. You're not obeying the rules and the regulations. God bless you. God keep you. Please like and subscribe my channel. Welcome to Lady J Love. God bless you.